All right, guys. It is Saturday. It's about noon right now. I have Mr. Las Vegas in here. That one family. Listen, we're in Las Vegas, so it's only right I link up with Mr. Las Vegas, um, Lorenzo. Listen, this guy does it all. He's on TikTok. He's on all the social media platforms. He's a recording artist. He's a father, businessman. Um, so I'm happy to sit him sit here with him right now. Let's talk about what's been going on with you recently with TikTok because you've been going absolutely viral. Well, uh, I gotta say that TikTok has been uh, good to us at times, but they also be uh, tripping about our content because sometimes we get a little too extreme, but that's what TikTok first liked about us and we blew up on there with our pranks and our uh, toxic skits. So what's going on now is that uh, a lot of the stuff that we're doing now is that now we're trying to transition into, into a more of a broader audience of business. Because now we got Facebook Reels that's now trying to take us away from TikTok. So it's like a, a battle right now. But we love TikTok. TikTok opened up a huge door for us, sent us across the world, gave us more of a broader audience. Because now we got people now knowing what's up about Mr. Las Vegas and more, more undoubtedly like the, that one family is, is, is where it's at right now, bro. That one family. Explain what that one family is. That one family is that one family down the street that that gets the police. The police always shows up to the house. They kick in their door. That that's the the family that's always tripping down the stairs. That's beating up your 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 son or or the the wife that's beating up your wife or or the wife taking the girl the the dude's wife you know or the husband in the in the bed you know what I'm saying that 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 type of shit you know what I'm saying that one family you got it, it's it goes for everybody so everybody can relate to because we we do all that toxic shit that that people are scared to do. And uh, that one family just brings the whole, a whole other dynamic and a whole other element to the to the platforms that that we're raw with our shit, you know. So has Las Vegas police kicked your door down? Oh yes, growing up as a kid, yes, they done that. as a teenager, yeah. And they in uh, a few years about eight years ago they done it too. What happened? Uh, they were just trying to charge me for a, a fake charge. You know, they're saying it was a robbery that ensued, but I was out of state. It was just. Gang unit was trying to stack fake charges on me. It took eight months on trial. I ended up beating it, but I didn't get I didn't get exonerated for nothing. You know, for for my bail or or even the, the even after you beat it. Yeah, after, even after I beat it, it was like he didn't want the judge didn't want to look at me. And the DA just handed me the paper. I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. I want an apology. You know what I'm saying? Like, and my bread. Yeah, and they came to my door. They had the guns drawn on my wife and my kids and shit. It was just pretty fucked up. But you know. Yeah, that's not a that's not a fun situation. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this: When you were on trial, and they're about to read the guilty or not guilty verdict, what was it like for your stomach at that moment? Um, I I knew I was gonna win. I already knew because they kept putting it off and putting it off. And then my attorney kept telling me, "It's like, hey, they're trying to stack more fake charges on you." Because I ended up getting all the all the surveillance footage of other places when I was outside of the state that day. So it's basically, I didn't even really need an attorney. I was my attorney of my own self because I've dealt with it before in the 90s. They, they tried to come after Mr. Las Vegas. Yes. They didn't know who they were dealing with. No. They're dealing with Mr. Las Vegas. Yeah, they were. They thought I was still the dumb gangbanger from back in the 90s. No, they they knew the business, man. They did, didn't even know what's up. Did you grow up here in Vegas? Born and raised. So when you're saying gangbanging back in the 90s, you were gangbanging mm -hmm. out here in, in Vegas. Yes. What was that like? What was it like? Uh, I'll say in the 80s when I was growing up, uh, the gang thing was just so heavy. You walk to this corner store to send 11s. Uh, I had some dude just yank me out the store and beat the shit out of me, you know, just because I was on this it's side. It's that you could say that too because a lot yeah. of people are like, oh, I, you know, I fucked up everybody and this and that. Nah, no, everybody, that. everybody has their wins and losses. Yeah, I mean, shit, it's, I mean, you, you have to give your flowers when, when that's due, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's like, it, it, it don't make you real when you're just constantly saying that you won, you won, you know, you won. I mean, shit, I took a shitload of losses, but I mean, I held my own. You know, I held my ground. There's been several times I've been caught slipping, and there's been times that, you know, it was on and cracking, you know. How old are you? I'm 44. Youngest 44-year-old I know looking, bro. <laughs> and you got your son here right now. <laughs> yeah. He's 21? He's 21. So what's it like for you being an artist, being in business, and then how many kids do you have? I have five. And having five fucking kids, bro, makes me feel like I need to do something, bro. Um, <laughs> how do you balance all that? Um, well, it's kind of natural for me. Because uh, since my family's all involved with what I do, so it's it's easier. Because when I was uh, when I got into the music business, my kid, my two my my two older sons, which Osis and my other son Jay Boy Espinosa, I took them on tour with me when I was on tour. So it was, I I they wanted to be rappers right on. I kind of wanted them to be models or whatever, but they felt they were too good to be models, which is fine. You know, what I'm saying do it, do your thing. You know, so and as you can and, do both nowadays. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then uh, and now that I ended up marrying. 
my uh, my Asian persuasion, you know, <laughs> <laughs> my little ninja star. She uh, I need me an Asian, bro. Right? For real. <laughs> and we we have blended family. She brought she brought a, a her son, and I took him in as my own. And then we ended up having two kids of our own together. That's with, huge. Yeah. So we have uh, Glow, is my seven year old son. Glow. Glow. Hell yeah, fire. Yeah. And then my daughter Melina, which is she's three. Glow and Melina. Yeah. So and then. And that's Osis. Osis. Yeah. And the other one's J Boy Espinoza. And then uh, my my stepson, which uh, he's my son. His name is Anthony. But he, he doesn't like really being in the scene. At first he was, but then he kind of, nah, I don't, don't want to do this. But it's fine. Whenever he's ready, we, you know, he's, gotcha. he's more than welcome to hop back on that one family train. So let's talk about, you said you were touring back in the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a little bit still, maybe opening up for shows or even having headlining your own. What were some of the bigger tours you've been on? I'll say uh, one of the biggest tours I was on was with Frankie J and Baby Bash. And uh, also with uh, Little Rob, when Little Rob was barely starting to blow up. Because we were before, we were selling CDs out of her trunk, going to, to all the stores. And when he got that deal, um, the manager contacted me. He's like, hey, you want to open? We're going to be going to this state, this state, this state. Like, Let's do it. You're out. Yeah. yeah. So we did that. Get that fan base. Yeah. So is it for real? Like these dudes, when they're on the streets here in Vegas, handing out the CDs and all that shit, does that really work? Do you think you can really get noticed like that? Uh, in the 90s, yes. Like the early 2000s, yes. Like right on the strip, here's my yeah, CD. Yeah, that's, that's how I came up. Before social media. Yeah, before social media. Social media, there wasn't even none of that yet. So. That was the move. Yeah. That was how to get your music out yeah. a little bit. So 99 and 2000, I had CDs, and I was on the strip right in front of Circus Circus. I had my trunk open, and I was out there bumping music. Whether people were fucked with it or not, there were some people that bought it, supported it. And then throughout, the, throughout time, all those people, those thousands of people remember me once MySpace came into play, once all these other places, and when I started traveling with Little Rob and everybody else, hey, you're that guy, remember he was on the strip. So it works if you're consistent with it. Got you. And, uh, and I wasn't just one of those that was just on the strip. Besides the strip, I was also going to all the stores in different states. Got you. I would drive and dump. City you know, to city. Yeah, city to city, and I was that guy doing that. Most definitely. Yeah. What's your biggest accolade um, in music and in life? Um, uh, you want to elaborate and like uh, your biggest accomplishments? Oh, my biggest ac okay. accolade accomplishments. Okay. Um, okay. Something that you're most proud of that you've done in life, and then something that you're most proud of that you've done in music. Uh, I'll say uh, being a family man while establishing my family, that one family business. I can actually say that's one of my biz my biggest successes that I'm proud of. The rap thing was good too. It, did, it, it helped me keep, keep me off the streets. Uh, my kids, you know, right along with it, they, they saved me, you know, from being back in the streets. But I'll say that one family, uh, that was like the biggest thing for us because it, it took us to a whole nother level. Have you done time? Yes. How much time have you done? Five years. Straight? Not straight, but I got out on parole. Four months from back in. What was violation. the longest bid? Like two, and a half, well, two and a half, you know, because before it was two, then I did, uh, then I did two and a half. But the one before that was, I was a juvenile, certified as an adult. This was in 94, 95. I was, I went to the pen at 16 years old, Damn. turned 17 in there. So um, from this was in the early 90s, back when this shit was popping back here, you know. It was that rough back here. Oh, yeah. Here, right here yeah, in Vegas. Right here. Well, I'm like, What's the craziest thing you've seen out here? Uh, I would not, I don't want to say it in the cameras, but I, I just say I'm thankful to be alive, you know, myself, you know, and uh, just just me witnessing in my arms, just friends, just dying in my arms, right along with just being in the pen, uh, having the... Right here in Las Vegas. Yeah. I can say one thing without, incri incri without incriminating myself is that walking to school, elementary school, there used to be this ditch in the middle of the road on Washington going east, uh, not far from uh, Cashman Field. We would see body parts sometimes floating down. And this is when we were you elementary. you say like arms and legs yeah, and shit? Yeah, arms, you know, yeah. Just floating down the river? Yeah, floating down, floating down the ditch, like nothing. And it, it became so normal for us. Like, there's a head, there's a head. Yeah, eh, just like stepping on ants type there's shit. There's a leg, you know? gotcha. That's exactly how it how it was because it's not funny, but it's, it's yeah, you know, exactly. Right. I feel you because right. I, I laugh about it too. No, 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 because no, no. I was able to, like, whoa, wait a minute, most people, and that's mafia, shit. Say, yeah, yeah, that was the mafia, shit doing and that, that, and you're in Vegas, so you're yeah. getting the real mafia, yeah. shit. and they really bury bodies in the in the, in the desert, like yeah. the movie Casino, yeah. Sometimes they'll Sam Rothstein, yeah, they'll <laughs> duct tape you. That was the original person, was uh, it was uh, 
it was Tony Spalatro and all that. Right. You know, those those guys were... Who played like, Nicky in Casino? Who was that? That was Spalatro. Okay. Tony Spalatro. He that don't guy, fuck that around. That was Tony the Ant Spalatro. Right. He, he didn't fuck <laughs> That was Nicky. Yeah. And then you also, met him? Huh? You met him? We, we used to do his uh, lawn. We used to do landscaping for him. Wow. Yeah, my dad uh, ran a, a landscaping business. He don't play. And uh, my dad partied with them, but my dad said they were all assholes too, you know, so... So I don't know what kinds of run-ins, what kind of situations my dad had going on with them, but they were close. He, your dad made it. He, he was yeah. definitely at least on the good side of yes, it. Yes, he was on the good side. His with legs him. weren't flowing in yeah. the rivers or anything. So yeah. So, <laughs> so but yeah, as far as the the deep roots here in Vegas, that's us. You know, I'm oh. one of the deep rooted uh, persons here from this, in the city. Who else is deep rooted here? Who else right now do you do you respect here as an artist? Out here, oh, there's there's quite a few artists out here that I. Uh, who are you rocking with? Who am I rocking with? She's uh, like, for instance, I know Yada is very affiliated with MMG and Maybach Music. Yeah, I, I know. I I met Yada years ago. Yeah. You know, before he he started blowing up. Um, I I haven't seen him ever since. Got gotcha. Just to be a, he's on your own. Yeah. yeah. And um, let's see, uh, Dizzy before yep. before he started blowing up, we knew him. And he was just a little kid, and uh, we we used to help him with the shows and stuff like that. My sons used to perform with them and Crazy. stuff like that back then in the days too with them. Um, Neo, like well, of course he's not a rap artist, but he's a singer. I've known Neo, I knew Neo for a long time too. Uh, there was Doomsday and Clicker One, and then Stacy G. They were like the originals, uh, rap art rappers, and uh, myself. And then uh, there was 420, and then there was uh, uh Polly Mac and um, uh, Kingowski, the Murderous Click. You ever heard of Murderous Click? Mm -mm. Oh, they're dope too, but uh. Uh, there's only one remaining as far as still doing the music because well, you know. Drake -yo. Hmm? And then Drake -yo. Drake -yo. A lot of people out here, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's uh there's a few artists. I'm just speaking like the older artists because that's what I'm used to. You know, like the newer artists. There's um, I could say Hitman Beats. You know, I know Hitty. Yeah. I'm getting Hitty. Yeah. He has a studio, Hitman yeah. Studio. That's my guy. Yeah. He works with Mozzie. He's done some stuff with Mozzie. He just had uh, who was in his studio? He just had uh, I swear Bezo in his studio a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, I like Hitty. Yeah, Hitty, we uh we get production done from him too. He makes as well. great beats. Yeah, his beats bang. And then there's a couple artists that I fuck with. There's there's a lot of name. I don't want to leave anybody out. Of course, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I got my boy Sin City Tamps. He's another artist that I'm pushing. Stack Doe, Illa G, Sin Citizen. I always bring up Dylan Jacobs. Always freestyling. On, yeah, on, yeah. Dylan Jacobs pretty good too. Yeah. yeah. He's always on uh, Fremont freestyling and making his cheddar. Yeah, he, has, he has so many dollar bills, he can go to the strip club for a few years. Yeah, he's straight, yeah. Now, some people used to confuse them, too, because they kind of have that similar look and shit. Sure. You got some swag. You got some swag. Yeah. Yeah, so we had it. But uh, shout out to, to Jacob, man. He's, he's doing his thing. You know? So what projects, what's your most recent project? Was it a single? Was it an EP album? It was, a, it was an album. Um, it was that One Family album, which is, because uh, everybody's bumping uh, stuff on TikTok, what's trending and stuff like that. So I made certain songs specifically just for the TikTok sound. And uh, that one has, that pro I'll give you, here, I'll show you right here. Let's see what you got. I know people nowadays don't bump CDs, but I, I still press CDs just for keepsake. And you get them shrink wrapped and everything. Yeah. Okay, so here, I'm looking at this right now. So we got, I saw some names on here. Uh, I've interviewed Wes, uh, Wes Sue before. Yeah, is yeah, that, uh, Wes. That's Mr. Uh, Mr. Everything, yeah, right? Mr. Everything. Mr. Everything. Shout out to Mr. Everything. I know yes. Mr. Everything. That's another artist. Shout out too. Mr. Everything. I know you're going to see this, bro. Make sure he sees this too. Yes. Shout uh, out to him too because he's definitely uh, he's, he's definitely doing some things right now for the city. He's somebody that I've you know I've locked in with immediately. He's always handled just all of our conversations super professional. He sent me a couple interviews, so I, I appreciate the hell out of him, Mr. Everything. Um, I think he's just got that video going too. Dope, bro. So you got about nine tracks on this. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, on the six, CD, seven, eight, but on the on the uh, what's on platforms is seven. I like how you're still yeah. doing the CD route, bro. You got good artwork, shrink wrapped. It's professional. Um, now we just need these in Best Buy like that. I don't even know if Best Buy sells CDs anymore, do they? Uh, they don't, but they they only be, they only sell the like the older stuff. Can they stream yeah. this? Can your fans still stream this? Yes. This this is new. This is only like two months old. This is two months fucking old. Mr. Everything is on here. We got nine tracks. We got Sophia Maria, yes. uh, Kid Frost, um, Reina, Sin Citizen, Spook G. Um, so we got some names on here right now. It's that one family, obviously, presents... And then it's Mr. Las Vegas. You guys can go stream this. 
Um, you can go to iTunes, you can go to Spotify, um, you can run them up on YouTube, but this project just dropped, you said, two months ago. Yes. And I got a gift for you, too. Um, you know, I work hand-in-hand -hand with Bel Air, with Maybach Music Group, um, and we always make sure to put every artist on the biggest uh, Bel Air, so we're going to gift you with this. Oh, okay. This is for you guys. Um, enjoy it, pop it open, maybe celebrate the project. Okay. Um, but I I got some more things for you. Okay. Hey, we love uh, we love merch. We love clothes. Um, okay. We All love right. gifts. You can we love either money. you can choose uh, you can either choose this one. You can either choose this one. All right. Where's the other one at? Uh, or you could choose like the one, the same one that I'm rocking on right now. To be so. real, I think I like this one, bro. Okay. There you go. I like that red right there. I like yeah. I like the design. Yes. I like the, the helicopter, helicopter chasing after us. And they run away. <laughs> um, I love it. Can they shop this? Uh, on, my, on my website, thatonefamily.com. Thatonefamily.com. If you guys want merch, listen, you're going to get it nice and professional too. It's going to come wrapped for you. Um, it feels, kind of feels like it's going to be a soft shirt. No, it is. It I is. need soft. I like comfortability, bro. So um, I'm rocking the XL. So datonefamily.com? Yeah, datonefamily.com. And that's with a D. So datonefamily.com. You guys can shop the merch, um, run them up. I'm going to be rocking it. Datonefamily.com. So that's where you guys can get it. And uh, make sure you order a couple, too, at a time. Yeah, we got, we got CDs on there, too, they can order. Okay. Uh, we're going to have shoes, by the way, as well. Let me show you. Okay. <sighs> that ones. You doing it all. And those look like straight, like, oh, you, you can customize them. You're yep. customizing them. Yep. So that one, shoes are coming too. And this is going to be on the website. I don't yep. know what the price point is going to be. Uh, well, if you, uh, if you follow us and let us know you followed us, I'll definitely uh, give you a discount. Okay. 60 bucks for these shoes. That's it? Yep. Get three. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Get a pair for hiking, get a pair for the gym, and get a pair for the club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that way you come prepared for every single situation. So three pairs, 180 bucks. Shipping in Texas? Yeah. yeah. Shipping yeah. in Texas, no big deal. I mean, if you want to spend your money on Jordans, you can just buy a couple of these and get one of your exactly. girl. You, know? you guys are going to design, you're dropping 700 bucks on, on Givenchy's, you're getting the fucking um, the Louis and the Gucci's, you're spending thousands. Yeah. You got to get the dead ones. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And also... Uh, just buy it just so you guys know if, if you don't get it for your girl, my girl will find your girl and then she'll get it for her. But the she age might of persuasion. Take your girl. There you go. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> oh, yes. You might take the girl too? <laughs> take the girl too. Yeah? Yep. I need a girl like that. You know what I'm saying? That's that Asian persuasion. Yes, that's why Asian I said persuasion. Asian persuasion. Um, that's Mr. Las Vegas. That's, that's what Mr. Las Vegas, you see what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, yeah. All right, what's coming for your music right now, bro? Uh, what's coming right now is that I'm going to be promoting my son, Osis, and my son, J-Boy Spinoza. Okay. And then when my homeboy, Spook G, gets out of prison, he, he just got out after over two decades. And then we were, we were starting to promote him, and then he went back in on a violation. So he'll be out at the end of the year. Free him. So his violation, he'll, he'll clear his, uh, his ticket, and he'll be on his way back. So, yeah, so some of these artists that are on there are my, are my artists, that they're my homies. They're not just people that I, I met. They're my friends I grew up with from my neighborhood. So some of them are, are on here, and they're fire. They got some dope shit. I'm going to be releasing a single, too, uh, after summertime cool. as well. So I got a couple things in mind sort for myself. But mainly, I, I am right now in the works of just doing nothing but all these comedy skits, bringing toxic skits, pranks. Uh, doing the whole shebang with the family. We're gonna attack Facebook Reels and now Instagram Reels. We're gonna be attacking the fuck out of that too. So hopefully everybody's ready for what's to come because we're uh, we got some things lined up, but I don't wanna like jinx myself. So I just yeah. read this morning um, when I woke up, I read that Elon Musk. You know he just bought Twitter, but then I read that he's gonna be doing. Um, he's gonna be trying to roll out monetizing viral tweets. How fucking crazy is that? So if you have a viral tweet. And it goes viral. He's gonna pay you for that. He's gonna he's gonna monetize your tweets. That's yeah, you coming. You got Twitter. Go for um, it. So that's coming, and I just heard that today. Um, I'm happy that he bought Twitter because I'm all for freedom of speech. Yeah. I don't want a platform to take away voices, regardless if you don't like the voice or not. Um, that's our opinion. Not to like him and not to rock with him. And we should be able to make our own opinions. Um, as citizens and as a country, the moment we can't make our own opinions or our speech gets taken from us. 
um, we start to go down that communist social, you know, socialism path. Um, and Elon Musk is totally against that. And that's why he was so heavily invested into making sure he did buy Twitter because you saw what happened. Um, regardless if you're a Trump supporter or not, you know, people to, to take a voice away is a scary thing because if it's not Trump, it could be who's next. Who's next? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It could yeah. be somebody you fuck with or maybe you did, you know what I'm saying? It could be anybody. Yeah. So for me, I'm, I'm happy he bought it and that's the first thing he wants to do is make sure that this is a platform that you can be free. Yeah. And, and that's what this country is. It's a yeah, free country. Yeah, exactly. Why we can't say no. I mean, I noticed that a lot of the other platforms were, were taking down stuff too. I don't like the censoring, bro. I don't like yeah. it. You know, I understand if you say you're going to kill somebody or something like that. That's yeah. different. But we're allowed to have freedom of speech, bro. That's what this country is. This is the United States of America, bro. So um, I'm happy that that change was made. And let's see what happens with yeah, the, the hopefully, Yeah, hopefully that uh, sets a chain reaction to other platforms as well to, so they can allow freedom of speech. As long as they don't show no one getting killed type shit. Facts. And then uh, that type of thing or robbing somebody. Have you made money off monetizing your reels or anything like that? Yes. Yes. Facebook reels has been very good to us. What's the biggest check you've gotten? Uh, I, I don't want to disclose that, but I just let's just say big. Yeah, I can I can put a down payment on actually not a down payment. I can buy a car off the lot type shit from Facebook. Yeah, Reels. Real. They, yeah, how do they pay you? Can you at least tell me that? Like it goes into it, my bank account. Does it happen like Direct. weekly? How does that work? No, every uh, once a month. You do all your reels and they they add yeah. you up, they they roll yeah. you out. So it's yeah substantially good money. Yeah, so what they have you they they give people certain uh the thirty five thousand dollar bonuses if whoever reaches that high. Or they give certain people twelve hundred, two thousand. They it just depends. It on is legit, and you have gotten yes. paid. That's what I want. You know, yes. I want to make sure it's legit. Uh, I was one of the first ones. I did, I thought it was like, what the hell is this shit? You know, I, is this real or am I being like, like uh, someone hacking me and shit? Right. So I was like, ah, oh, let me give it a try. There's nothing to lose. So I I put in my bank information, and all that, and I just started posting reels. The next minute, I'm like, oh, okay. Next next month, oh, even better. Okay, there's my ramp payment. There's <laughs> okay. that payment. There's my car. All that. I need that. I need to start monetizing my yeah. shit. I'm not, I need to get better at that. I might hit you up and talk about that, bro. Okay. Who are your? Who's your favorite artist? Uh, who's my favorite artist? Um, if you're gonna die, bro, and you can, and, and your ears survive, and you have to listen to the same artist the rest of your life in your cat, rest of your death in your casket, who is it gonna be? Well, um. I would like, I would like, yeah, I like to, I do bump myself a lot. I'm a little uh, cocky, you Got know, you. but not cocky like that, but I, I'm humble, but, for sure. but uh, I would say, I'll probably say uh, Ariana Grande and she can come in the casket with me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. She can come. Okay. <laughs> Or uh, probably J Lo, you know what I'm saying? Because me and J Lo, okay. you know, we we. Uh, I wasn't expecting you to say that. She That's winked so. at me one time, so okay. you know. What you winked back. So I winked back. There you go. You know, so, yeah, so there you I, go. I know there's something there. You know, Ben Ben Affleck, better watch out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see what's happening, Mr. Like, you don't bring her to Vegas. <laughs> nah, don't bring none of them here because uh, if I'm going down the strip or inside these casinos, oh man, this bald head, you know what I'm saying? So before Just we kidding. before we wrap up the interview, I want to ask you how do you, um, artists work with you? How do people, if they want to collaborate with you on a reel or a TikTok or a viral video, how do they approach you and go about that? Um, they, if they can, uh, most people that already know me, they can just, if they got my phone number, they can contact, contact me, but they can just send me a message. I, I answer all my messages. Okay. I know some people get too big headed, but I know there's a lot of messages because sure. I know that TikTok, Man, we get thousands. You sure. know, it's it's like fuck, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Uh, I do I do respond back cool. to everybody, so uh, they contact me through there. But if they want to do a TikTok or reels and stuff like that, I do charge for that. For sure, because you're getting paid. Too. Yes, that's my job. That's that's my my income and stuff. So you're you're actually rolling out the content for yes. them and recording it. Yes, and making sure you yes. you know the algorithms. You understand how it's supposed to look, mm -hmm. how to put it up. And that actually itself will yeah. help roll it out. Yeah, because we're partners. You know, we're par we're partners with the. Uh, so with this the, is huge. If you're an artist, if you're a YouTuber, if you're an influencer, if you're a business, and you're looking to go viral on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, Mr. Las Vegas is the guy, and he'll help you roll out the content. He'll help you get the content, and you'll even film it for him. Oh yeah, yeah, we definitely we just pull out our our Max Pro 13s and shit like there you that. Go. And you got you the have. best equipment too, so you yeah. already know what it is. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, they can just reach out to me. Music wise, man, and I show them love, man. As long as we shoot videos, we do something with it. If you're gonna do something with it, I'm, I'm all for that, love. you know. For sure. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the Matty Ice Show. We brought in that one family. We brought in 
Mr. Las Vegas. You guys can purchase That One Family's gear at thatonefamily.com. You guys already know the deal. If you're looking to collaborate with Mr. Las Vegas, you can hit him up on Instagram. It's Mr. Las Vegas, right? That's right. That's a fucking great handle, by the way. So Mr. Las Vegas on the gram. Um, TikTok hit him. Reels hit him on Facebook. Um, we busted out the Bel Air. He gave me his new project that's out right now, That One Family Presents. It's on all platforms um, already. So if you can't get the CD off the website, um, you can go right and stream them up, download it so it actually helps a little bit more. And uh, run them up. We got Mr. Las Vegas right here, datonefamily.com. This is the Matty Ice Show. Shout out my family at Bel Air, Ethica Music, MMG. I'm working with Weasel. Um, there's nothing bigger than this. We brought in an incredible artist, a businessman, um, and somebody that I'm looking to, to rock with in the future. I invited him to the studio to perform his music. Um, so that's coming too. Uh, we did it again. We'll so be there. Fire.